Thank you for coming to my craft and wearable and bags of jewelry. I'm getting ready to fill all kinds of craft jars and put special names on them that you have sent me in the comments. So stick around for some goodies, okay? Thanks a lot. Hello everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. And I'm back as promised with an entire video dedicated to all craft jewelry. Well, not all craft jewelry. There's a lot of it that is wearable as well. So I'm happy to present to you. I have three specially made jars just for my YouTube subscribers. I do sell all wearable jewelry jars in my eBay store for $39.99, but for my YouTube subscribers, I put sterling silver in them and I also put gemstones in them. So I have made three more jars for you all. And I have jar number one, I'm not going to put names on them this time because last time I think the names kind of confused people. They thought the jars were for the person that I put the name on. So this time I'm just going to put numbers. So if you like them, please give me an email at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Let me know the video name and episode number, the time, no, not the timestamp, the, the number of the jar. So you want to say all wearable special YouTube jar um, for $39. That would be great, okay? And then just give me the jar number, either one, two, or three. For any of the other bags or lots that you see, just do the same thing. Give me the name of the lot, whether it's craft or wearable, and the price. That would help so much because I'll be getting emails and opening them and from one email to the next, something can sell, and I need to be able to mark it all down, okay? So thank you so much for that. I appreciate you giving me that information. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And click the bell so you don't miss the next episode. Because I started Rich Box Poor Box series, and I think by the time I put this video out, we will have seen episode number one. It's very exciting. So I hope you'll click that bell and and subscribe and join the fun because we do have a lot of fun. Okay, I'm going to give you a peek of jar number one. Remember, these are special for my YouTube subscribers. And they have gemstones and sterling silver in them as well. So there's jar one. Here is jar number two. And... Here is jar number three. Sparkle, sparkle. Lots of goodies. I do make them very nice for you all. They're nice in my YouTube store too, but I just love to add those extra features for you all. So jar number one, two, or three, I'll put those aside. They are $39 a piece. I have had several of you buy them already. And you said they were fantastic, so that's very exciting for me. So first, I am going to fill this craft jar named Vivian. And Vivian is a name that someone gave me in the comments. And that someone is Ida. So Ida, if you're watching, here is your Vivian jar. If you're new to my channel, we've had a lot of fun naming the jewelry jars, the craft jars, craft lots, after names that you have sent in to me through the comments section. Um, I can't take the names through email, but I will take them through the comments. That way everyone gets to see them and it's a lot more fun. So if you want me to put a name on something in the future, craft jar or craft lot, just put the names in the comments section and hopefully it's someone that means a lot to you that you are giving me the name for, okay? So that's what we're doing and this is for Ida. So the craft jar is not for Ida. I have to really explain it this time because last time it got confusing. Ida sent me this name, Vivian, and I'm putting it on the craft jar. But anybody can buy this craft jar, okay? So just to let you know that. All right, let's get started on filling it up. I put a lot of special things aside and can't wait to put them in. Now this looks like some kind of old cloisonne. There's only one, so that's going to be the first thing. 
then we have this beautiful Monet bracelet. Just needs a little stone there and a little stone there. It doesn't even need the big ones. So beautiful bracelet. Another bracelet with the letter C on it. I think it says silver over copper because I test everything. Then there's a pair of earrings that just need some polishing. They, I'm not sure if they're silver tone or gold tone or they just need some buffing and I just can't do it all. This is that old ring that we found in the last unboxing. It does look kind of old. Maybe Bakelite in the middle, but it's cute. So there goes that one. This is a pendant. This is a very pretty necklace with pearls and coins. And it's very wearable. A lot of the things in the craft jars can be wearable. I, I can't say that it has wear on it. It just has a darker color, I think. So I thought I'd put it in here just to be safe. So there's that piece. And then this is all sterling silver. You may want to um, use the parts or something. There's a wishbone mark 925. And then this little toggle piece is also sterling. And I'll leave that on there so you know. These earrings I love. They're so beautiful. Nice glass pearls. They just need to be fixed in the back right there. Just that little part hooked together. And I do some jewelry repair, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a jewelry repair person, and it's not easy for me, so I don't usually do it. Here's a nice cute pin. This is Made in America pair of earrings with some enamel on them. Very cute. It's a beautiful Monet bracelet, sorry, necklace with the Monet clasp but the pearls are a little on the warm side. It may clean up, I don't know. It's probably peeling, I would think. So maybe you could use that clasp. So that goes in. Then we've got pieces and parts. Oh, I know what this was from. When I made those earrings um, out of that turquoise sort of stone, I used parts from these. So see, it is, I learned how much fun it can be and I learned a lot about craft jars when I made those earrings and just how many pieces are very usable and that you need when making jewelry. So I'm really happy to do this. This is a pair of earrings. I don't know if they're on, um, what do you call that other metal? Not sterling. I can't think of it. Uh, but you will. You'll be yelling it at me. There's nothing wrong with them. They're full of lovely crystals, but just a darker metal. This is a vintage ring, so cute. It's probably celluloid, carved celluloid. Just need some more white paint right there. This is, I used to think they were bracelets and put them with matching sets, and I was so embarrassed to learn that they hold up shirts, but maybe you can use something, use that for something. This is a cute fish necklace. In goes that one. This is, this has some rose quartz and some useful charms and the ribbon that we all know and a cording. These are all seed beads, really pretty black and brown and tan. I thought those would be very useful to someone and look at this pendant, isn't that gorgeous? Nothing wrong with it at all. Boy, things are jumping. Just a beautiful glass pendant. So please enjoy that. I'd love to see what someone makes with that. And this too, look at the cat eye glass bracelet. Beautiful light powder blue color. Just needs a new string. In goes that one. And this is a little crystal bead. Then I have this pink shell bracelet, same thing. Needs some new stringing. If I'm going fast, it's because I have a lot to show you. Then I have this cute pair of earrings. They're all bezel set. They are acrylic, but they just need new wires. They're kind of worn. So those cuties are going in. And this bracelet has some really cute stones in it. And a nice fold-over clasp that you could use. Now I know, right? Because I made some jewelry. And a cute pair of earrings. There, nothing wrong with them, just they're a little bit thin, so 
I don't feel like they're sellable. And a very cute little bracelet with a little pearl on it. Very beautiful sparkly bracelet that needs a new stretch. I probably should redo that one too, but like I said, I can't do it all. This bracelet, nothing wrong with it at all. Has lots of cute pieces and parts on it. And this is a very cute pendant. I think it says best on it. And there you go with that one. Love this heart. This purple heart pendant. It's probably acrylic. Maybe Lucite Moon Glow. I don't know. I don't think it would be that old. Well, never know. But it's pretty. I know that. And then I love this bracelet. I was a little bummed when it had to go to craft, but I'm not bummed because of what you guys get to have. This is signed Premier Designs, I think. Look at that. Beautiful pieces on it. Really cute bracelet. Just had some wear, I think, to it. So that's going to go in. Now let me make sure I get you some gemstones. Look at those. Aren't they gorge? Real gemstone. Probably some kind of jasper, but this will not stretch at all. And it looks like a solid copper leaf and some findings on there. So that's a nice piece. Hope you like that one. What else can I put? Um, there's so much more to show and I'm so happy about it. This is a necklace that I use some pieces on, but it has all these Rolo parts and a clasp. So maybe you would like to enjoy that one. And this is a very beautiful vintage necklace by Trevari. It is pewter. That's the name of that metal I wanted to say. It looks like pewter. I can't be sure. It's a gorgeous piece. It's missing tiny little rhinestone there and like there. That's it. Otherwise, it's a lovely necklace for sure. So let's see, can we fit anything else in here in our Vivian jar? How about some nice red earrings? Nothing wrong with those. They were just a little bit lightweight, I think, but they are pretty. So I think that's good. We have a lot more to get to. I'm going to put the rest of this away because I have other things already made up. Here, let me put these little studs in there. You can put something new on them. And a piece of beach glass. And there you go. Okay. So this is jar named Vivian craft jar and I will say 25 on that so if you want jar craft jar Vivian just let me know in an email and I will put it aside for you okay next I have a craft bag named Vince for Sheila so Sheila if you're watching here is your name Vince now again anyone can buy this bag I'm just honoring the names that were sent to me in the comment section, okay? Now these bags are made up because the pieces are too big to go in the cups and they would fill up the cup in just, you know, a couple of pieces and I don't want to do that. So the cups are reserved for the smaller pieces of craft and the bags are for the larger pieces. So let me show you what you get in your bag called Vince. We have a vintage style blue acrylic faceted necklace. Again, craft bag Vince. Another craft item. Nice looking silver tone bracelet. It has this little piece coming out right there. Really cute otherwise though. And also for this craft bag is this bangle. I think there's a little piece missing there and some really cute earrings there's nothing wrong with these I just didn't feel I could sell them as a separate item so 
There you go with those. Lots of pieces and parts on those. Okay, now we have these. I think they're very pretty. They're almost like, I don't know how to explain them. They have like a solid color inside and then clear on the outside. But they're nice looking. So I thought I'd put those in. And then I don't remember what this came off of, but very cool indeed. I've seen some Bakelite necklaces come on chains like this. So interesting. Then I have this red seed bead necklace. Really pretty. It just needs a little touch up here and there because some of the paint's coming off the shells. But it's a nice big piece. And it has a lovely clasp and findings. So that goes in our bag name Vince. I have some more acrylic beads. I just love these. They're really pretty. And this bracelet, I just think it's so pretty. It needs a new stretch. It does look vintage, and it's very substantial. The gold on the back is in great condition. The enameling, I think, is great. Handsome piece. This is an acrylic bracelet. Some more bracelets. This is a silver tone. What's wrong with this guy? He's beautiful. Probably just needs a polishing. And this is a gold tone bangle. This piece, I'm not sure what it can be used. Oh, here it is. It's got all rhinestones all along here and probably one tiny one missing there. So maybe someone can use that for something. I just don't like to throw anything away, especially if it can be used. This is such a cool looking necklace. I'm sure it's older. It's probably meant to look like bone. And it comes on like this... Um, like a silky cord. I've always thought it was really pretty, but I'm gonna put it in this craft bag and you can craft or wear or whatever you'd like. So that's it for craft bag vents. If you like this one, let me know. And we will say, do $12 on this bag, okay? So craft bag vents for $12. There you go. Rolling right along. Uh oh, what happened to my name on this one? All right, let me get the next one because I know this one had a name. So next we're doing big craft bag name Quinn. And Megan, if you're watching, this is the name you requested, the name Quinn. So again, all of you watching, anyone can buy the bag. I'm just honoring that name that she sent me, okay? So let me show you what goes into Craft Bag Gwen. This is Craft, right? Yes, okay. So we have this bracelet, nothing wrong with it. It's got some brown colors and some little seed beads on the end, very attractive. A leather bracelet that snaps, pretty good thickness to it. And this big pendant, isn't this cool? Very Art Nouveau looking. Nice big pendant to put with something. Looks like it's meant to look kind of old and scratchy. I almost put it on a chain, but I'll let someone else enjoy that. Then I just didn't have the heart to let this, you know, go to anywhere else but my people. So here you go. This is so cute. Little crocheted Santa pin. Nothing wrong with it. This we found in our 45 pound box, right? We never did figure out what it is, but it sure is full of goodies. So that goes in our big craft jar bag, Quinn. And you'll see these beads in every bag because I split them up to go in each bag. So there's some more clicks. Next is a necklace or parts of one just look pretty and useful. I thought, wow, that'd make a pretty earring. And this is a cool chain too. Big craft Quinn. And we have some paper beads in purple colors with lots of beads in between. Pretty blue and purple. So that goes in. This necklace is so beautiful. 
just needs to be reconnected on this side, I believe. Let me show you how it goes. Not pretty. And right there, too. So lovely statement necklace. Just needs a little bit of connecting. And look, I'm going to let you get that knot out just to see how you do with that. So that goes in. Then I think this is a children's necklace. I thought I would pass it on in case someone has some kids or something. I think there's a special place where it comes apart safely. So again, there you go. And this is another faux pearl. I think a kid's necklace as well. Can't find right now where it pops apart, but it does sew safely so that they can't hurt themselves. Now this, you might see the earrings floating around, but this is the necklace. And I love this. It just has some wear on the chain. Really was beautiful in its day. Lots of pieces to use in that turquoise color. And this silly guy, I'll put this in there because there's a lot of nice cat eye beads here. And there's some nice findings. And these kind of chains are always great to have. So that would be fun. I'm thinking you could even slide, you could slide any kind of beads on that. So I hope you like that too. I definitely like that chain a lot. And here's another piece of that necklace. So that's it. Let me get the crackling out of the way. For a big craft named Quinn. And for this bag, I will say... Let's do $13 on this one, okay? So if you like it, just send me an email. I would like Big Craft Bag Name Quinn for $13. Okay, let's switch to a wearable bag now. So again, these are pieces of jewelry that are too big for the wearable cups that I showed you. If I were to put them in my all wearables, it would fill the whole thing up, so. I'll make separate bags. Dump it all out and then show you what you get in a big wearable bag named Neil. And Sheila, this is another name for you. Thank you for sending the name in to me. And these are all wearable pieces, if you choose to do so. So we have this pretty bracelet in all different florals. It's a clamper. Great shape, piece number one. I have this bracelet too. It's made to look like stone. It's very nice looking and the stretch is great. Another bracelet made out of wood, painted black. Great stretch again. That would add a nice little touch if you're wearing those kind of colors. Here is a pink statement necklace, hot pink, on chain mail. I like this necklace. Pretty, great shape on the gold tone, and that goes in our wearable bag. This is an old, old piece, and I love it. I almost put it with my matching bags, but I wasn't sure how you'd all feel about it, since it is a lighter plastic kind of pearl. I just, I do like it. I like it a lot because it's showing, there's a little boo-boo on it. It's showing all these Baroque style pearls and it breaks off into three. I just think it's stunning. So I decided to put it in an all wearable bag. So there it goes. And a big pair of brand new earrings. They're pearls, gold tone, fresh in the bag. Then I have this AB coated acrylic necklace. I almost made a set with this too. I really like this. Nice piece, very sparkly and on a silver tone chain. So this is going into wearable. This is a vintage piece too. Has some gray and some cream color that were pretty popular back in the day and it's on an older spring. 
have a pair of big funky earrings. They're clear acrylic and they are marked on the back side so that you can see through the front. So big pair of earrings. Then I have this necklace that I put in one of my um, jewelry sets. I do love this piece. Look at the wood that's been put together in different ways. Really pretty barrel clasp that is made of brass. And another wearable piece is this gorgeously carved out pendant. Not sure what kind of wood that is, but some of you might know with that different coloration. And then look at the beads. Really pretty. They're very soft. So lovely piece there. This is a bracelet with a little rose on it. Stretch is great. It's like a blue, a little bit aqua color. And we have another wooden necklace with different colors. It would look great with that bracelet that's in the bag. And last but not least is this lovely necklace. It has some wooden beads and a big stone right here. Real stone. We've tested it in our unbagging. I love these end caps right here. I do want to fix a necklace that I have that's made of all check glass, and I would love to find these end caps. So if any of you know where to get these super quality bead caps, let me know, because I would love that. But yes, this has some very nice qualities to it for sure, and that stone is pretty. Okay, so that is a big wearable bag named Neil, crackling over with. I will say, let's just do, oh, we'll do 16 on this one. So just $16 for the whole bag. And just remember, there'll be a little bit of shipping because of the volume. It's not terribly heavy, but there'll be a little bit of shipping with it. So there you go. Big wearable bag name, Neil 16. Next craft bag is Craft Bag Aaron. And Megan, another name for you. Here is your name, Aaron. But again, anyone can buy the bag, okay? So here you go. I've had a lot of people email me lately for certain craft bags and things. And I said, you know what? I'll make a whole new episode on just the craft bags. So here's what we're going to put into Aaron. This necklace, I actually just bought this online on eBay. It looks cool to me, um, but it's lighter than I thought it would be. It does have an older spring ring clasp. I'm not going to close it because I want to be able to close it this way. But it's pretty cool looking. I mean, I don't know. Pretty neat, but I'm going to put it in the craft. And this piece is of obviously lovely purple pieces, but it does have some real amethyst stones on it. And look at these beautiful acrylic type pieces. So amethyst stone, lots of nice findings in that craft piece. Here's that necklace that was like the other one I just showed you, but this is the orange one. And Again, I love these. Look at the chain mail on the back. But they're just a little bit too worn up here, so I didn't feel like I could sell them with, you know, great confidence. But look at all that. And I think I just put the earrings in that other craft jar that go with this. So, sorry about that. I would have kept them together if I thought of it. This is a shell bracelet. This is a very attractive piece. Wow, that's pretty. Lots of rhinestones and things to harvest, and some Rolo chain, but the chain has some wear. So look at the design here, that swirliness. Isn't that pretty? Wouldn't that make a stunning earring? Okay, then we have some bangles, silver tone bangle has a little bit of, um, you know, like a dent right there. And this one is like gold tone, silver tone, and it's kind of heavy. So that goes in. These earrings, 
kind of silly, but they're nice. Maybe you could use the backs or something, or maybe you like them. I've always liked this necklace too, but it is from Chico's. But it just has a little bit of wear to it, so I couldn't use it. See a little bit of scratch right there, but look at the pretty colors and all that chain and the clasp. That looks good. And here's our acrylic beads again. Told you I'd share them in each bag. And next is this pretty piece. It is a statement necklace. And I don't think there's anything wrong with this. It's lighting up pretty brightly. Oh, I think the chain is worn up here. That's right. Okay, so that one goes in our Aaron bag. And then I'm going to put all these pieces in because I almost threw them away. But then I thought, maybe not because they have all these places on the back where you could, you know, add strands of things. So maybe they could be painted or something. I just thought they might be very useful with all those parts on the back. So I'm going to add them in. You can do what you like with those. So there you go. Big craft bag name, Erin. And this one I will do for say $15 on this bag, okay? So if you like Big Craft, Erin, for $15, you know where to find me. And speaking of that, if you just joined me, let me remind you of my email address. It is girl at gmail.com. And if you see something you like, just email me with whatever bag or whatever name it is and the price, and I'll get right back to you, okay? Thank you for that. Thank you very much. Okay, what have I got next? Oh, I have another big wearable bag. So, all wearable jewelry. Some of it you may have seen in the unboxings, and some of it you may not have. This one I am naming Victor. And Ida, this is for you. You sent me the name Victor. So, I'm naming this bag for you. Remember, everybody, anybody can buy the bag. Okay. And if you want me to name something after your loved ones, just send me that name in the comments. Okay, so big wearable bag Victor. We're going to put in this bracelet. I talked about this before. It looks like a very old piece. Look at the leather it's on. I don't know, but I think that might be something special. Not sure. But in it goes, and then we have these great big earrings with the face on them. So those are going in. And another bracelet with the rose on it, with that pretty blue color. And this is a lovely bracelet, like a basket weave, gold tone cuff. Really pretty. That's going in Victor. Here's a wooden bracelet, really pretty color to that. And look at the roses. Nice, just needs a little bit of stretch fix or no maybe i should have put this in craft hmm i don't know i guess i can't change my mind now but maybe you could tie it a little tie the knot a little tighter i don't know i'm sorry about that that should have gone to craft here is a bracelet that looks like you know someone did the wood burning on it pretty and then I have this piece, which I love, love, love. It's a very old piece that has some kind of an acrylic um, clasp. And I might have to pause because I think we're having an ambulance go by. Usually don't hear them. But there's your clasp. It works great. And it's on these acrylic um, cream color beads. Nothing wrong with it, really. I'm, I'm, why am I seeing some places that need cleaned? I usually clean everything. So I apologize for that. No, it's okay now. No, it's not. There's a little something here. I need to make sure it comes off. Because I wouldn't want to put it in all wearable if it doesn't. Hi. 
Have you subscribed to Sherry's channel yet? It's really good. You might like it. So click the subscribe button and have a great time. See ya. Well, I don't want to redo my, redo my entire video, but when I went to clean that one bead, a little bit of the paint came off. So I don't feel like I could put it in the wearable bag. I feel like it needs to now go in the craft bag. So I'm going to move it over to craft. So thank you for letting me do that. This is, I guess, just one of those choker style necklaces, black lace, kind of pretty. And there you go with that one. Another wooden necklace, sort of safari look to it. And this necklace is really something. Look at all of those beads. It's just amazing. Many, many, many glass pearls on it. It's got like six strands, gold tone. And look at the back. Really a substantial necklace, like a bib necklace. So that's going in Victor. And I also have this bracelet. I don't know much about these. It's new with the tag. And it does look carved or pressed or something. But that's a pretty one. And then this is an old Lydell piece. Lydell NYC. The tag is on it. And it's in orange and brown. And it's a graduated piece. It really looks very hippie to me. I like it. Quite a long necklace. So that's going to go into Victor. Then I have this piece. Nice bright green colors on a gold spring ring clasp. And this looks to have wood and either glass or maybe stone. But it's in brand new condition with the button clasp. And there you go with that. And to Victor. Then this I'm going to put to craft. Oh, and the matching earrings to that necklace. Forgot to tell you that. Okay, so that is our wearable bag in Victor. We've got some bracelets, a big chunky faux pearl necklace, matching green set, an old Lydell set. And I'm going to say for Victor, let's do, we'll do 18 on this bag, okay? So if you like all wearable bag of jewelry named Victor for 18, just give me a shout. Okay, our last bag, I guess I didn't pick a name for it. So what should we do? You know what? My grandson is here today. I'm going to put his name on it. So let's honor him today. And we'll do big craft bag named Chance. Let me show you what's inside. So now we're switching to craft, not wearable, but craft. And here is what goes in this one. First we have a pair of earrings that are Christmas trees. Then we have this nice glass necklace. Really nice findings on it. Yellow and green glass but some of the green is peeling off of these. But these here on the bottom are wonderful. So I hope you like that beautiful green glass. And all of those glass seed beads are quite lovely. So that goes in. We have a wooden necklace with some silver findings and those nice little, like, uh, I wanna say raffia, but I'm not sure if that's what it's called. So that goes in, we have this bracelet, nothing wrong with it, we have this nice big shell that had something stuck on it, we never did find what the thing was, and it's on this kind of, um, not sure if it's a worn chain or if it's supposed to be a coppery color, but there you go with that piece, 
Then we have these silly earrings. Maybe you can use the wires or maybe you'll enjoy those. So those go in. Chance bag. This bracelet, I like it very much. Silver tone, I did polish it up. It's showing a tiny bit of um, copper. So in the craft bag it goes. And here you go again with our acrylic beads, sharing them with everybody. Next is this, getting a little tangled. Another bracelet, silver tone, needs some polishing. Cute little bracelet, nothing wrong with this. Pretty colors, rhinestones. This, I think, is a piece of coral. Coral necklace, signed right there on the clasp. And it's gold tone, and it's a great necklace, but it just has some wear to it. So I'm going to put this in. From the front, it's great, but from the back, you can see some of the wear. Let me see if I can make sure that says coral. Yes, it definitely does. So coral on the clasp. Okay, so a vintage coral. Quite beautiful. Just has some wear on the chain right there. And we have a wooden necklace. I love this bead right here. So pretty. They look like big berries. And then there's some nice clasp and chains you might use. This is nice too. Who made this one? This is a vintage Liz Claiborne. Oh, this one really got me because it's so pretty. Silver tone, peach, cream colored pearls. And look at these beads in between. But what did I find about this? I think... Gosh, I don't know. You know, I think, oh, there it is. There's some wear on that bead right there. See that gold tone bead? Oh, there's some wear. So if that doesn't bother you, it's a great necklace to wear, but I had to put it in the craft bag. Next, I put in this torque. It's a little bit bent, but you can easily bend it however you need. But these are always good to have. I put something nice on. And a little bit of a bangle that needs uh, fixing. And I was going to say last but not least, I'm putting in this cording. This is like a leather cording, perfect condition with a clasp. And maybe you could make something out of that. This piece is so stunning. It is an Erica Lyons. Beautiful necklace. What happened to this? Hmm. Let's see. Erica Lyons. Oh, I know. The only thing with this, every black rhinestone is there. All of this, if it is um, shell, I don't know. It's all there. It's just that right here, it has a little line in it, and I wasn't sure if that was supposed to be there or not. Maybe it isn't, and it's perfect, but it's an Erica Lyons necklace, and it's gorgeous. So there you go. I'm going to put it in big craft bag chance and get it sipped up for you. We've got coral. We've got a couple of designer pieces in there. Lots of things you can wear or craft with. So for big craft bag chance, I'm going to say um, we'll do 20 on this one. All right. So now how do I make a thumbnail with a bunch of craft bags? I just don't know. Um, I'm thinking I should probably put this necklace in this bag. So last minute, I'm going to add this to this bag, because it had just a tiny little scratch in it. If you can touch it up with paint or something. So, yeah, that's it. Now I can't get it to zip because it's so full. 
So I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed that I put all these things aside for you. And I would love to see what you make out of these bags and craft items. I'd love to know. I'd love to see those things. If you want to post some pictures of what you make in my Facebook group, it's called Blessed Baubles, and you can join the group. But please go to the top of the page and click on the tab that says Featured, and in that tab there'll be a post that I made of how you go about posting your pictures of your goodies or your questions about jewelry. So head on over there if you'd like. I'd be happy to see you there. I'm going to keep putting these bags on the table and see if that's going to make it thumbnail or not. And then don't forget about our special all wearable jewelry jars as I get them off of the bench over there. Jar number one, two, and three. So hey, we went over a lot of stuff, right? Isn't that wild? So thank you again for joining me. I hope you had a great time. And all of you crafters that have wanted me to do this, I hope you're really happy about it too. And don't forget about the jars, okay? So thanks, and we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye. Okay, there you go. I hope you enjoyed all the craft jewelry and the wearable lots. Just remember to send me the name of the jar or the name of the bag, and I'll get right back to you, okay? Thanks so much. Have a great day. On your way out, don't forget to click the like button or subscribe and click that bell. Thank you. Bye-bye.